Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on Monday the 27th of February, we came home to a flood. We had been to the dentist after school and came home to find the kitchen was soaked. And basically the cat had managed to knock on the tap um, and filled the sink and the rest is history. And this is a little video all about how we renovated our flooded kitchen. I hope you enjoy it. I literally don't know where to start is shorted the dishwasher I haven't got a mop because we have a steam mop which obviously isn't going to pick up any water I might cry <laughs> Joe Wicks if you see this my books are knackered <laughs> why oh look even the drawers full of water my boots are ruined Luckily the insurance company did cover us for the floods even though the cat had done it um, so we were lucky enough to get a payout and we started designing our own kitchen and so from now on this is the process that we went through, all the mess, um, a few tears maybe and yeah this is how we built our new kitchen I suppose um, and at the end I'll do a little reveal so you can see what it looks like. So we are on kitchen renovation day one. This is the new kitchen. This is the old kitchen. This is a mess. Just getting the last things out the cupboards, wash that up, and then it should be ready to start ripping out. So we are a couple of hours later now. We have no wall units. And this cupboard's gone from here. Getting there very slowly. Problem is we've got no worktops coming until like the 9th of May and it's currently I'd say about the 13th, 14th of April, not 100% sure. So we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do actually. <laughs> we're funny. Just need the uh, plumber to come in now and take the sink. The plumber is my dad. So he should be here it later and then that'll be that bit gone. Hmm. Messy, messy, messy. Good morning, welcome to kitchen renovation day two. <laughs> Look like crap, need to go put some makeup on. God, I look pale. Let's go that way. No, I still look pale. Go no, I'm just pale. Ah. What are you doing to your brother? Feeding him because he wants me to. Are you a baby again? <laughs> oh, look at that milk everywhere. <laughs> you grub. I didn't really update you last night, so Elle managed to get all the tiles off. And this unit in, although we've had a leak in this overnight, so my dad's coming back to try and sort that. We fashioned some sort of work toppy majiggery, what's it, out of the old work top. Okay. And we've also fashioned that As into a, a cupboard. Table. A what? A mud table. It's not a mud kitchen. I was only joking. We're not actually having a mud kitchen in our garden, darling. But yeah, he's fashioned that into like a work top oh, space. Don't know why it has wellies on it. But we have put in, so this is the new unit here. And this is going to be the layout of the kitchen. I'm going to have a new fridge freezer. Worktop's going to go along to there. Here right now is our oven, but that's got to be sold because it won't go in the new unit. Um, and that is going to be a dishwasher there. Um, then we've got drawers, which will have a hob above it. This is a corner cupboard, which I think is going to have a carousel thing. Oh, Four drawers I here. I haven't put it in yet because I don't want them to go soggy. This is going to be our oven and two cupboards. And then this here, these need chopping down a bit and this is gonna be our breakfast bar type thing. So that's gonna come round to about here. And yeah, these cupboards are gonna be up higher because this one's got feet on it. What, darling? Plastic makes a drug noise. It does, but can we not break it? Okay. Um, and then at the top, this is two skinny cupboards. This is our extractor, it's gonna go in this cupboard. I think um, that is going to be a glass fronted cupboard this is my wine rack this is a cupboard a skinny cupboard this is just a normal cupboard I think that's gonna be for plates and yeah that's gonna be our food cupboard Where so the shelves they're not in there yet you've got to put them in they've got to go on the wall first but yeah that's basically gonna be the layout of it so yeah it's gonna be good so I don't know if you could see, but this is the colour that the units are going to be. Just move it over here a minute. This is one of these drawers. 
so yeah that's gonna be that color I think it's gonna look good and then I'm thinking cream tiles all the appliances are stainless steel so the main plan today is this is all the old kitchen and that has to go to the tip um, and Elle has football today so I don't think much else will be done unfortunately Morning, so I had to um, remove some boxing that was around the top of the boiler to get the new cupboard. As he did so, he discovered that there was a let's see hole. Oh, there's now a hole in the wall because there was a screw uh, nail through one of the water pipes. So as he took it out, water went everywhere. So my dad now has to come fix that. So that's um. So he's now trying to build the cupboard, but without being able to really build the cupboard because you need to get to the pipe work. This unit is fixed to the wall. One down, 25 to go, or something like that. Yeah, right now. Nothing's kind of going right. This house has um, like plasterboard walls and cavity behind it, and it's just a nightmare to get a fixing on anything. So I haven't checked in for a while, but we are on day three, and we have all the wall unit carcasses up and my white rack. Yay! And towel units fitted, so in a bit he's going to start fitting doors to those, and then those are pretty much done. This one here is going to be a glass cupboard. I'm really excited. We're on day five, we have a lot of dead flowers. Oven that still hasn't been moved. A few missing drawer fronts and a few missing panels, but we are getting there. It's looking amazing. Still a hole in the pipe with a screw in. But yeah, it's getting there really slowly now. I mean, Elle's about to work, so probably won't be much done. This has all got to be raised up. Oh, the worktop sample came. I'll show you guys that. It's from Worktop Express. And it is an oak worktop, so it's going to be that colour against that colour. So I'm hoping it's going to look amazing. I can't remember where I left off last but we currently have all the wall cupboards up with handles on we now have an oven back um, we've got drawers in drawers dishwasher and we're currently cutting down the units for the, the breakfast bar oh and the new fridge freezer is coming today and that is going Still no sink, but we're getting there. And yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but it's gonna be good. So I haven't vlogged in a little while because there's only been little bitty jobs been going on, but I thought I'd show you the progress we are up to and we are on week three, four, we've lost track of time. It's starting to get a little bit tedious now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, we're on the week where the worktops are going in. So we're on the home straight, I think. Here we go. I can't remember whether this was built last time. This is the cupboard unit that's been primed. That's the fillets have been put in there, and there, and there and there um what else dining tables back in so it's getting there but the worktops are going in in about four days and that will mean we will then have a sink again and a hob again hob is currently up there sink is currently in the living room all the lighting's in now so we're getting there slowly but getting there so, worktop's been delivered today. This is where it's living for a little while. Ooh, hold on, let's turn the light on. There's the other worktop. <laughs> Can't get to anything now. We have got lights in the cupboard though. It's kind of feeling never ending at the moment. <laughs> but, a few more days and hopefully this will all be in place. But before that, it's all got to be oiled, and I don't know how that's going to be done. Check back in a few days, hopefully it'll be in the right place. Just to add as well, we now have tiles and grout. 
and tile spaces, I think, somewhere. So that's looking good too. We're in the workshops. Wax on, wax off. Beard's looking better, babe. That's hairy. <laughs> Exciting. It's gonna look so pretty when it's finished. One down, two to go. Not sure how he's doing this once on the floor though. So it is the evening and we have over half the worktop in and first coat of oil on. Hole cut out for the hob, hole cut out for the sink, and a hole cut out for the tap. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, please. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's looking good. And obviously the breakfast party is doing, but that will be on Monday now. It's a big mess in here, but sink's going in tomorrow. And we've been how long without a sink now? This is the full week. I thought I thought it was the fourth week. It could be wrong. This would be the fourth week, like today, yeah. that you started ripping everything out. I'm sure it is. Maybe. Um, and without a hob, so we will have those back tomorrow. And yeah, I'm really excited. And oh, and my peonies have come out. So there's a lot of metal everywhere, but we are slowly getting there. And we have tiles, just not on the wall. Not 100% sure why I last left this off, but since last showed you, we still have a bit of a mess. But we do have a sink, and a hob, and workshops, and a breakfast bar, and tiles on the walls. It's getting there. I've got a few bits left to do. More varnishing, oiling, not varnishing, oiling. There's a kickboard to go in here. What else? More tiling. Tiling. More tiling here and here. And then painting the walls, which are going to be the colour of this wall here. Oh, and we have a mirror. Hey, hey you can see me. I've now vlogged myself in a mirror. How exciting. Let's not do that though, because I've got a massive spot on my face. So the last bit of painting was finally completed on the 13th of May 2017, so it basically took us a month. Now Elle did most of the work himself, uh, bar the worktops and bar the plumbing, so he did amazing. He's never fitted a kitchen before and he pretty much self-taught himself as he went along. And the finished product is, I'm just so happy with it, it is our dream kitchen. So here are some before and after photos of the finished kitchen, enjoy! Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've also done a blog post on this uh, which shows you where I've bought everything from so I'll leave the link to that below. Um, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you again soon. Bye!